I mean, let's be honest here. I've seen a lot of people online that I disagree with. I've seen a lot of people online that have certain ideologies that I do not follow. But I respect their freedom of speech. And more than that, when a person has been nothing but honest, expressing themselves truthfully, how do you expect, if you threat those people, that you will win them over for your team? Obviously, that is impossible. I've heard so much nonsense of vegans. Vegans blaming me that I lie. Vegans blaming me that I'm a shill. Vegans blaming me that I did it wrong. Vegans sending me links to Dominion. Vegans sending me certain studies. The China study and whatnot. Jesus Christ, people, do you think that I never heard about that before going vegan? What do you think? Do you really believe I went vegan overnight with no research and in four years of veganism I never researched the field, I never found out about those facts, quote-unquote. If you really want to win a person over to veganism, yeah, you clearly are doing it wrong. You clearly do it wrong. How do you expect any ex-vegan that suffered on your deficient diet to go vegan again if you throw a study at them, if you throw a Dominion documentary at them? Do you believe that nobody has ever seen those films? Do you think that nobody read those studies? Do you really think that? And do you think that with such an approach, you will win somebody over for your camp? Think about it, right? Let it sink in. Think about it. You, vegans, you're not taking into account the personal experience of that person. It's simple. If a person suffered on a certain diet, it doesn't even need to be veganism. Let it be paleo. Let it be raw carnivore and whatnot. And you do not take their experience into account, but just blame and shame them and throw bullshit vegan propaganda at them. Do you really believe that those people will follow your advice? How brainwashed are you? Let's assume, right? Let's assume somebody went on a carnivore diet, raw carnivore, like Sverige back in the day. And then you eat raw bone marrow and you get food poisoning. Right? You get super sick. And now you tell the people about it in the raw carnivore community. And those people ridicule you. Those people send you Ajanus Wonderplanet's book. Those people tell you that you did it wrong. Those people tell you that you're an idiot. Yeah, next thing you know, you just drop that raw primal diet straight away. Why would you belong to such a vile community? You wouldn't, right? Why would you? It makes no sense. And this is your approach, vegans. You never heard me out. When I said I had tooth decay due to veganism, you didn't listen. When I said I was depressed because of veganism, you didn't listen. When I said my energy levels dropped, I had to spend most of my time in bed, you didn't listen. But now you're going to show me a study that I read 736 billion times before. Now you're going to show me earthlings that I watched 10,270 times before. And I should go vegan. With that information presented, I should go vegan again. You do not understand. Human Psychology 101. You're doing a piss poor job at convincing people. Guys, I've been on your side of the fence. I did the vegan diet. I did it right. As right as anybody could. I'm a personal trainer. For over 15 years, I've been coaching people. I've been creating meal plans. Vegan, non-vegan, everything. I know my shit. Wow, I know how to work with chronometer. I know how to use supplements. 
Wow! I did it all. Your fucking daily dozen. Your shitty B12 supplements. Your DHA and EPA that I needed because fish is not vegan. Because ALA is converted poorly. Right? I did it all. Enough rest, enough sleep, enough exercise, enough water. All of that shit. Every single day. Tracked my macros and my micros. Didn't work. And now you're going to show me earthlings again. And now you're going to send me a mail and tell me, actually cholesterol is correlated to heart disease. Go fuck off. Much love and peace.